Bona Sifiwe, ladies and gentlemen, Bweni Digital, uh, how are you doing, people? So, to call up on Nairobi Cinema, my name is Tess Wakamen. I have had a glimpse. Yani, iyo, iyo alba mikitoka, you need to definitely get yourself a copy. The Munene's live recording is happening at Nairobi Cinema as we are speaking. Amazing ministers, Evelyn Wanjiru was just ministering and it was such a blessing. And the music... And also Dr. Epiana as well. And Apostle T is also one of the ministers this afternoon. And I was just telling him before we started recording, I need him to talk more about music. But before all that, Apostle, thank you for allowing us to just have a moment with you to make kuiba kidogo. But Salimia was say wabweni digital. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Buona sifu sana. We bless the Lord for this opportunity and even the privilege to use the online platform to advance and propagate the gospel. And thank you to everyone that is a part of this family. We give Jesus all the glory. Mm. Amazing. Amen. And talking of online platform for, for uh, pushing the agenda of God, Niliono make a post finally when they join TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> what is the importance uh, of the church and, and, and Christians and ministers to partake and make sure that we use social media to the best? Uh, because uh, we see that technology and civilizations keep on shifting. Mm. And for the last three civilizations, the church was left behind. We had the mechanical, we had the electrical, and we also had a part of what we call the computer civilization. Mm. The church kind of demonized it, but now we've realized that technology can be used both for evil and for, for good, good, and so the church should not run away from the space. Mm. And every civilization tilts how the globe operates. Mm. So there must be an alignment because this is the direction the globe yeah. is going. This is the direction operations are going. So it's time, and I'm happy that the church has now embraced technology. Finally. Even more than those who founded it. We are more on Facebook than... <laughs> than any other thing. Than any other person. You know, Apostle, it was said that during COVID, because now we were forced to all go online, whether yeah. you think it is Illuminati or of God, we were all forced. They said, according to statistics during COVID, that um, the church produced more content than Hollywood wow. ever mm. during COVID. Because mm. now... That was the only option for the church. Yeah. And the content that the church produces as in Ilex Sidia Hollywood and normally they produce. Wow. So I think wow. it's good that we've embraced it. Mm. And and I like that you said church nakonganyuwa sometimes because that's the truth. When you know can catch up, mm. we take long to catch up and we miss out on a lot, especially yeah. being able to minister. But let's talk about your involvement today. You're ministering uh here at the live recording for the Munenes and uh you have been a musician. You still are an artist, only that now you don't do that. <laughs> I remember when I interviewed um, Mr. T back then, yeah. and uh, we would just do amazing uh, hip-hop interviews. But as a person that has been part of the music ministry, mm. what do you think is happening to Kenya as far as gospel music is concerned? Because kuna shift flying <laughs> I don't know how I realize, Apostle, from the days that you guys were doing music mm. to the kind of music that is happening right now. No, we, we by the grace of God we prophesied it. Amen. But at that time when, when we spoke, yes. it looked like it was contrary because there was a wave and the wave was very much dominant and no one would think that this wave will went. We are now coming to what we are calling church music. Wow. Church music simply means it's a sound uh inspired from the altar and is a sound that first of all begins by blessing the church congregant. Mm. You know there was infiltration, uh and there were a few things that came in um, that really started what we call the superstar mentality. Music now became like a platform of enterprise. Yeah. And sometimes our, our motives were taken away. So we began to operate by the dictates of the industry. And we began now to service the altars of these idols mm. of celebrityhood. But it's like God put a pause on that kind of system. And now there is a shift in the spirit. Mm. And there is a new sound that is emerging. Amen. And that is the church sound. The church that you sound. listen to this song, you know, this is a gospel artist. This is, the, uh, this is a godly song. You're not struggling. Yeah, you, gray area. Yeah, you know, ini wimbo ya mungu. Yeah. Ni mtu wa mungu. Mm. So we are coming to that very radical center. And that shift, of course, is it takes a lot of doctrinal alignment and even the production. That's why we are getting now to live music. Yes. And that's the that's the destiny. It Anyone thinking destiny. music, mm. it's live music. Mm. Yeah. I think there's something important, Umesema, and I think uh, Apostle wants you to speak to a young person that wants to do music. So when we're saying that we're shifting from that place of uh, fame and everything, where's the balance? Because uh, there's fame, yes. there's money, there's mm. awards. So does that mean as an artist, upon a Mr. Kiyonet, mm. but where's the balance that you ensure that you still have these things because they are of the they are of the world, but they are platforms mm. and you still maintain that mm. church music that you're saying. Die to self. 
Romans 12 and verse 1, the Bible says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you offer your body a living sacrifice, mm. holy and acceptable because that's your reasonable service uh, and be ye transformed by the renewal of your mind uh, so that you may be able to test and to prove that which is the perfect, the good and the acceptable will. Mm. So when you die to self, you mm. see the whole concept of celebrity, it's a mental status. You begin to think you're big, you begin <laughs> to think it's your talent that lifted you, yes. you begin to think, you know, people gathered in thousand because of you mm. and so that idol mentality comes upon you. But the moment you know it's no longer me who lives but Christ, mm. The moment you know it's not by might, not by power, but it is by the Spirit of God. Mm -hmm. The moment you know that we are who we are because of Christ, the Christ in me, the hope of all glory, mm -hmm. then these things will never get in you. Yeah. That is why you can get an award and life flat and say glory to Jesus. Mm -hmm. You can still walk in town because you are a servant. You are just a vessel. Just uh, a vessel. You, you will not begin this concept of boat guards and all these things. Mm -hmm. You will be just, I'm just a vessel that God has chosen to favor and to give me a sound that can affect a generation. I like what you said because sometimes that fame, if you're not careful, Careful, and I want you to speak on the place of accountability and being plugged in because we've seen Mr. T, you were part of that time. We saw talents come, talents go down. We saw mm. people rise, people come down. And the place of uh, musicians and even artists to just have a place that is a support system and accountability. That I'm saying, I'm on there. Yeah, you see, what the greatest challenge is to decipher the motive of men. Mm. People can 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 behave. People can learn how to behave humble, but deep down there is a hidden motive. Yeah. That's why now the money comes. They begin now to introduce systems, and you're like, is this the same pastor that we knew? Mm. So motive, motive is the most, and it's only God who knows the motives of men. Yeah. So the best thing is that point of just telling the Holy Spirit, search my heart, O Lord. If there be anything that is not of you, let it be uprooted. Mm. If there if there is any desire that I've never known is resident in me, pride and all that, Lord, search my heart and let me empty me so that I can be filled with you. Mm. Because uh, you can have accountability. I remember there's a time we formed a, an accountability team yeah. and then now there was a team that formed because they felt these guys are against us. Because oh, wow. we're like, you know, you guys, uh, we are born again. Mm. It can't be 90 percent of your concerts in clubs. Yes. Please show us how many converts you brought. But the clubs are paying well. Mm. So they formed a clique and they were like, this is the clique that performs in clubs. Mm. So you begin to see motive. When the men were building the Tower of Babel, their motive was to challenge God. Yeah. So that's why they were very aggressive. Mm -hmm. So most of the times people are aggressive. But what what separates them is the motive. the motive. Someone might be aggressive to make sure that Jesus is known. Another one is aggressive to build a name. Yeah, to Both of them name. are aggressive. And God knows the hearts of people. Yeah, yeah. I think it's it's not just for artists, for everyone that is watching the gift that God has put for in you. The motive is very important. That's true. It's not just for musicians. Why are you doing what you are doing? Is it because of money? There's the place of money. Is it because of how it makes you feel? But is it because you want to be used as a vessel? In, in I, fact, the yeah. scripture says, even the Gentiles, are in need of these things mm. clothing food shelter and then he says and your father in heaven knows that you're in need of them yes. and then he says but Matthew 633 yes. that but it introduces passed. a condition seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness what does that mean that name kingdom there is basil mm. it simply means seek the authority the power and the dominion of god and then after that seek his the standards of God and these things will be added. So, in fact, they are addition. He calls them things. Yes. He calls them things. This is a surplus. They are called things, not yes. blessings. Cars things. are things. <laughs> Houses are things. Clothes are things. Yes. These things. Yes. Because when you when you seek, that's a language of priority. Yeah. To seek Nikutafuta. That's a language of priority. Yes. So when you are sold out to God, mm. you will never idolize things. You will idolize the God who commanded the, the things, things to follow you. I think two more questions. One is for the church because yes. we've had musicians, apostle when you well, he start na God, to join me, well, he start na God, honestly. Yeah. Mm. And then the church played a very big role. There's a place of discouragement, the place of support. And and uh, they they didn't get the support they felt they needed. And that actually drove them away. Mm. And today we've had, I know apostle, you've had this story. So, um, but when I take a nienda, I take a lipa, I take a appreciate, I take a rich is a keyboard, I love me seeing a rent. I don't know if apostle me scare. God bless you, I take a I don't know if you've mm. had I've had like those that. conversations. Yeah. The, the most important question is who, who called you? Is Come it on. a pastor or God? Come on. You see in Isaiah chapter number 6, the Bible says there was a voice in Zion. Mm. Who shall I send? Mm. And who shall go for us? Okay. Then Isaiah said, yes. here I am. Mm. Meaning that every ministry is an open check. 
God will never force you to go. Mm. God will always ask, is there anyone that I can partner with? Mm. If God is responsible for your sending, he will take care of your bills. Mm. Now, there are many people, and, I, and I'm, I'm here not to say that the church will not take care of its people, but I want to assure you, when you know that it is God, I, I went through that process. Mm. We went to concerts. We were intercessors. We yes, we've been intercessors under the pulpit and the stage. And celebrities come and perform. Mm. They are given 100,000 and we are given 1,000 transport back. Yes. And you are also performing. So it looks like there is a junior artist. If you are spiritual and you love the Lord, you are a junior artist. Mm. And if you are compromising and you are famous, then you are a senior artist. Mm. And we saw the system reward mediocrity spiritually. Those who are not praying, yes, those who are playing celebrity, and then we'll meet in a Bible study and they will tell us, you know what, you guys must stick to God. Mm. But on the day of the reward, it is this team that is rewarded. Yeah. And of course, it's normal for a man to take offense. But I remember I asked myself, who called me? Who, who do I serve? Yeah. If all the radio stations were shut, if all the TVs were shut, will I still, still see? Yes. So that, the audience of one is very important. Number two, do I go where I have been invited or do I go where I have been sent? Sense. Because if he sends me, he's going to take care of my he needs. Will. And there's a place I will be invited. They will honor me well. Mm. And in that honorarium, it is a package to go where they will not honor me oh, well. Wow. So that now everyone benefits from this grace that I carry. Mm. So for me, it's stay in prayer. Yes. Stay in prayer. And sometimes you might realize Maybe the church was not meant to be an employer mm. because many times church cannot employ. Yeah. They only give facilitations. They facilitate. They, yeah. they facilitate, meaning that you can never look church as per se as an employer. Mm. And if God speaks to you that you're meant to be employed fully in church, he will take care of you. He will. Allow he will me to you. say here yes. that we survived without concerts because we were banned from concerts, mm. but we continued preaching. People will come to high schools, sell music, mm. will preach the gospel, and no one will even care about your life. Yes. And I tell you the truth, supernaturally, God provided, provided for us. Yes, I'm did. a living testimony mm. of a soldier in Afghanistan who was commanded by God oh, wow. to pay my rent. Not even pay my rent, to pay his tithe to me for one year. No concert, no job. But I was doing high school missions and I knew this is the will of God. Oh, wow. Cast is the man that puts his trust in man. man. There is a God that calls and that God is not incapacitated. I think that's a question that all of us need to ask ourselves. Who has called us? Who has sent us? One last question, Apostle. We're here for the live recording of the Munenes. The Munenes might not be very familiar with people or other people might not be very familiar with uh, the Munenes. But we've seen Evelyn Wanjiru come to just support them. We've seen Dr. Epiana come to support them. I just want you to speak to two categories of musicians. The ones that are still starting and the ones that have been there and the support they can give each other just to unify and to be a blessing yeah. to each other. The greatest tragedy is introducing the book of Judges. Mm. In the book of Judges chapter number 2 and verse 10, yeah. the Bible says that Joshua died and he was buried in the borders of his inheritance. Yes. And then the Bible says, and the elders also, and then a generation that never knew the Lord arose. Mm. And so the Lord now introduced Judges. That means when a generation raises without mentors and people to take over yes. then that generation has failed mm -hmm. the success of men is measured by their successor and i'm happy that evening dr Impiana, mm -hmm. i'm not a musician i just came to give my spiritual support mm -hmm. just to tell guys hey this is it yeah. this is the sound of the church mm -hmm. you're worshiping the lord let's do this thing mm -hmm. and that's how we are going to secure this sound mm -hmm. that we will not be talking about the days of evelyn when yes. jiro that sound will be transferred from one generation to another. Amen. So mentorship, support, cheerleading, and embracing those who are coming. We are all products of people holding our hands. Yes. So the most important thing you can do is hold someone's hand and even help them grow through the radar when you see potential and you see the, the godly patterns upon mm. their lives. Amazing. Yes. Wow. Apostle Asante Sana. Thank you. That was an amazing session and such powerful truths. We are going to make sure that you get all the latest from this particular album once it's out, the Munene's live recording. My name is Tess Waka for Buenif Digital. God bless you and see you next time.